Hey folks, all out the one here. Welcome to another video. If you've been following my recent posts, you'll know that last year I became a big fan of the um, Fjordukan original, um, Jervan Norge, which is basically um, a multi-use tarp stroke poncho um, stroke shelter, etc, etc. If you want a uh, closer look at the bag itself, then I've got a detailed video uh, in these links up here. So basically, for me, the, the function of this serves as basically a rainproof poncho when I'm walking around. And it also serves as a tarp for when I've arrived at my campsite and I can take my poncho off, set up a shelter. It can be used in many other capacities, as I said, check out the video if you want to have a closer look. But as I have decided to incorporate this permanently into my bushcrafting stroke wild camping gear, um, I wanted to kind of utilize this front pocket of this pouch. This pouch carries very nicely on a belt and um, when it's empty it serves as a nice little dump pouch when you want to store stuff in there quickly uh, good especially when you're on the move so as I said I wanted to, to develop a survival kit that sits in this front pocket so I know if I've got this with me then my survival chances go up exponentially so apart from the fact that I can build a shelter with this as there's cordage in the main compartment and there's also a large uh, signal panel again check out the video um, for a look at that um, so I've got kind of signalling and shelter already sorted just from the actual Jervan itself. Um, so I just wanted to add uh, quite a lot of ability um, to, to that kit with you know saving as much weight as possible. I do like to keep my gear lightweight. The reason for that is because it increases mobility and burns fewer calories when carrying and transporting your gear. So go ahead open this up, take everything out and uh, just show you what's in there. So that's everything out of the pouch and um, here's a look at what's in there now. So we've got some go wipes which are small uh, compressed towels that basically expand on contact with water now this, I suppose, has uses as a first aid item <coughs> to add compression or um, mop up blood. But uh, my real purpose for these was basically to use them as water filters. So when fully expanded, you can uh, pour water through them and they'll filter out sediment and debris. Obviously, lots of other neat uses for those. Um, so just handy to have, there are 10 of those in each one. So that's water purification and first aid to some extent. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, next up, <laughs> we have a Kendall, famous Kendall's mint cake. Romney's Kendall mint cake, should I say. Uh, you know, a couple of hundred calories in each one. Enough to keep you going for a little while. And just a nice energy boost if you're really cold or um, tired. Also I find that you know if you injure yourself having something to eat can sometimes just perk you back up again and give you a little morale boost. Uh, next up we have a um, small signal mirror. <coughs> have yet to uh, ever need to use one of these in anger but uh, it's good because it takes it's fail safe pretty much and um, can be seen over large distances. You have to excuse my voice, I'm just recovering from a flu at the moment. <coughs> uh, next up we have a couple of Lazino milk, breast milk bags. Um, someone suggested on one of my videos, I'm really sorry mate, I can't remember um, who you are at the moment or which video you even posted on, but I'll have a look into it. And uh, he recommended these um, breast milk bags, nice sterile bag, um, good for storing about 300 to 350 millilitres of water per bag. 
So I've got two here giving you 700 mils, just over a pint, under a litre. And along with that we have 10 water purification tablets. Each one is enough for a litre each. So I figured splitting one in half should easily do the contents of one of these bags. So 10 litres of water approximately. Uh, that's enough to keep you going for a few days, even in fairly hot weather I would say. Um, provided that you know you minimise exertion, um, but just enough to get you out of a tricky spot if you ever were in one. <coughs> um, as to the tool side of things, I've got this um, small neck carry um, survival keychain, I suppose you'd call it, but it weighs absolutely nothing. And uh, just customised it down nicely for the bare minimals. First up we've got a nice piece of uh, thick woven cordage here. Nylon I believe. <clears throat> I chose this because this kind of thick gauge of rope is um, nicer to carry around the neck. Rather than thin biting lines. And uh, it's also nice and strong. So good for a wide variety of things. Approximately two foot long. Enough for a fire drill, for example, or perhaps even a small bowline. Or if you unbraid it, then obviously you can use it for finer jobs, fishing line, binding, etc. So that's the cordage on there. Alongside that we have the famous Acme Tornado Whistle. Still really rate this thing. Ultra light, weighs nothing and is sturdy as hell. I've had this one for about seven years now. And... Um, still in good nick. Next up we have a small um, photon microlight torch. Uh, loads of settings on that from brightness control to flashing modes, beacon modes etc. Um, nice high quality um, batteries in there with a long shelf life so I know it will always have juice when I need it. Also customised it with a glow in the dark um, dot there just uh, <coughs> to help me find it more easily in the dark. And also, if you power one of these up with some torchlight for a little while, then you can actually um, see inside a small confined space, such as a tent, enough to see shapes, shadows, pick up various bits of kit, etc., find the zippers. Next up, we have a little custom cape design. Um, light stick holder. That releases the light stick, which obviously you then just snap shake it up a little and then you can place it back inside giving you a small area of illumination through the side slit here um, also good for marking various bits of kit for example just so you can find them easily when it's dark and obviously having this around your neck will make you more visible as well So next up we have a small compass, um, this is a titanium split ring so it does not affect the reading of the compass, so that's always good to know. So you're not going around in circles in a woodland environment for example or any other large expanse of wilderness. Fitted it again with a <coughs> retro reflective and glow in the dark sticker. Again, just more light without using any power. And finally on here, we have a cape mini fire steel. Perfect pocket sized fire steel with a glowing dark dot on the back there. Again, just to help you find it. Um, perfect for starting hundreds of fires. So that's the um, necklace component. Alongside that, we have a small ultralight knife with a good quality carbon steel blade in there, which also makes for a great fire striker on the reverse. And the striker is safe to use because the knife is in the locked, closed position. And then just go ahead. 
<coughs> and that cuts into fire steel really nicely and smoothly making efficient use of your fire steel so that's just a little knife of my own design there you know it's not designed for huge cutting tasks obviously but for cutting rope um, bracken, ferns, vines uh, small stuff it's um, ideal and definitely for intricate small carving work such as trap triggers it works nicely too Uh, last but not least, we have a small multi-tool of my own design here and it incorporates a couple of useful tools. First up, we have a screwdriver stroke bottle stroke can opener. Um, the most useful piece of this for me is the small screwdriver at the end allows me to make adjustments on other pieces of kit that I own and um, yeah not you know meant for huge prying tasks but even prying tasks that are possible with this tool and um, just a very lightweight little tool to have in the woods that can be useful alongside that we have an awl very tough little awl this great for punching holes through various materials um, yeah making holes in wood for example very effective at that or through material leather etc also useful for that and again the reverse of this is nicely squared off so it makes for a great um, fire steel striker as well and last up we have a um, good little saw here very tough construction on there and um, is perfect for basically firewood preparation or building small survival shelters which is the purpose I had um, <coughs> marked out for this tool in general so it's basically my fire lighting and um, shelter building capabilities now naturally this is a very lightweight kind of last ditch kit if I'm having to use this then I'm in trouble and um, <clears throat> it's all I've got with me those of you that are subscribers will know that I carry a substantial main kind of kit um, with heavy duty items axes saws etc so you know I wouldn't want to just ever have to rely on just this by itself but it's a last ditch kind of kit and um, only to be used in emergencies as I said that being said it is a very lightweight kit but in conjunction with the um, German bag I reckon that this is a pretty decent you know 72 hour kind of get you home get rescued survival kit that being said I truly do believe that this could help you survive you know a couple of days out in the wild and uh, potentially longer than that with the right skill set so um, yeah basically I'm looking um, forward to hearing what people think about this little kit here and um, about its real world potential obviously I have tested out and used many of these items um, apart from the Lassino milk bags so I know that they're all effective and do their job but yeah maybe I've missed or overlooked something vital yeah look forward to hearing from you so this has uh, just been a quick look at my ultralight German bag survival kit I hope you've enjoyed. This is All Outdoor One, signing out for now. Thanks for watching. Take care.